I'm Mia from Pop Entertainment, and I'm here with... Maya Costilla. Carla. So, are you guys nominated for anything tonight? Yes, I'm nominated for a short film called Home. What's it about? It's about a girl who time travels um, because she wants to find a place to call home. But she realizes that she's not, like, she doesn't belong anywhere because she's different and she can move things with her mind and she can, like, teleport and stuff. But the main idea of the story is um, it's okay to be different and... Yeah, it, and ever, to be accepted, you should be accepted even if you... Will she ever find anywhere to live? Or is she just like always uh, out? She never finds it, a place to live. So how do you balance school and your career? Um, well... Is it hard? It's not so hard because... I, because I usually have um, auditions and filmings on the weekend or when I have like breaks of school, yeah. you know, like spring break and stuff like that. So, yeah. so would you say that your nomination, would you say it's your favorite role you've played so far? I, um, I don't know. I don't know, really know. Okay, thank you so much. I'm here with Savannah Latham. So. How is it being at the first ever Young Entertainment? My goodness, it's amazing. I love Universal, and this is so much fun. You get to see Fun Land right there. It's awesome. So, what are you nominated for? I'm nominated for the Best Lead Actress in a Guest Star Role for my role in Major Crimes. What's Major Crimes about? So, it's an investigator show, and I play the craziest role. It was my dream role to play of the psycho killer, but you don't know that. I kind of just gave it away, but it's episode, it's season four, episode one. Yeah. So are you just like an off and on, or are you a guest? It was one episode, so um, it was a guest star role. Yeah. It was a really big role though, and it was so much fun to do. I had to cry all nine days of being on set. They were all real tears, so it was really intense. And I got to work with Mary McDonald, who's a two-time Oscar nominee, and she was amazing to work with. So what's it like? What's your favorite role that you played? That I've played so far? Hmm. I have to say either that one on Major Crimes or my role on Lost. Because I got to fly to Hawaii, so I got the whole experience, which was awesome. Do you travel a lot for acting? I wish I did. Hawaii was the, the furthest I've traveled for acting, but mainly I've been doing TV shows and films in Los Angeles. But I have a film that just premiered at the Hollywood Real Independent Film Festival with Daniel Baldwin and Eileen Davidson. And so it's also going to Cannes and being shopped there. Really cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me. And I'm here with... Aiden Cumming Teicher. So what are you nominated for today? I'm nominated for Lou, which is a short film about two boys' friendship and what they're willing to do to keep it. What would you say your favorite role has been? Um... I don't know. There was a a voice one I did where I narrated the whole thing, and so that one was really fun and interesting because it was a different side of acting. Yeah, so. you don't like get to see yourself on. Screen. Oh, I love to see myself on camera, but it's interesting to hear myself on camera rather than see it. And what's it like being at the first ever entertainment? It's an honor. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> Would you say that it's hard to balance school and your career? No, my school is very flexible, and I'm going ahead. Uh, if I've never skipped a grade, I would be in grade six, but I'm doing grade ten math, and next year I'm going to eight nine together. So yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm here with. I'm Jeanette Bundick. And I'm Peter Bundick. So what are you guys nominated for? I'm nominated for snowflakes. And I'm presenting and I'm nominated for a Night Owl High in the web series category and a short film called Pirates. And would you guys say that's your favorite role that each of you have played? <laughs> um, our favorite role? I like, so far it's probably Snowflakes because it's for inspiring youth and for mental health. Yeah. Uh, they're definitely both a lot of fun to play. Yeah. And what's it like being at the first ever Young Entertainer Awards? It's pretty exciting. I like how everyone's smiling and always excited to be nominated. That's always fun. It's nice. I love LA. Good thing it's not too sunny because I'm wearing all black. <laughs> but you know. Okay. And 
you guys, is it hard to balance school and your career? It is. It used to be really hard for me because I would take a lot of academic courses and that's not really my thing. But now I'm taking a lot of art courses and dancing and acting, so it's a lot easier for me. It mixes sometimes, but you know, here and there you can just not do a homework assignment and you know fit everything in. Yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with uh, Graham Rocher. What are you nominated for today? I'm nominated for a couple things. The first is a TV movie called Turkey Hollow, then a TV show called Impastor, and then I also have a small role on My Little Pony. So, which one of those would you say was your favorite role? I think my favorite one to do was Turkey Hollow because it had uh, puppets in it, and they were awesome. So. so, other people were doing the voices of them while you were acting in it? Sorry? Uh, so people were doing the voices of the puppets while you were acting in it? Oh, um, well, I was, I was live. I wasn't a puppet, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I was, I was in the scene with the puppets, and then there were, yeah. <laughs> and would you say that it's hard to balance your school life with your career? Um, it can get pretty annoying at times, but the school, or the school is really good, and they'll, Do you think yeah. it's getting harder as you get older? Um, Maybe, because I think it, it might get <laughs> busier if I get, yeah, so, um, possibly. So, what do you think of the Young Entertainment Awards? Sorry? What do you think of the Young Entertainment Awards? Are the ever here? Um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm here with... Lexi DiBenedetto. So, what are you nominated for? Uh, best Guest Star for Instant Mom. Yeah. Uh, so, what's your favorite role? Would that be your favorite role? My favorite role? That one was a lot of fun. You know, that one was comedy, and I have a few. It was probably one of my favorite. I don't know. I love Modern Family too. I I love them all. I love them all for different reasons. Like I can't really pick a favorite credit, but this cast was really, really amazing. So. And would you say that it's hard to balance your school life and your career? I think it's hard to balance life in general. Um, but I, yeah, I definitely think schooling is important. I think it's just about scheduling things out. And I'm a big, like, OCD person. Like, I have everything mapped out, and that helps. But, yeah, it's stressful, but it's fun. So, have you always known that you wanted to act? Yeah, since I was very young. Um, I started when I was probably about five, like, wanting to do it, but I didn't move out here until I was 11 or 12. Where did you move from? Originally, I was, I'm from North Carolina. It is, yeah, cross country. Yeah. So, do you like it better here? I like my family in North Carolina, but I like the weather in California. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm here with Jordan Van Franken. So, what are you nominated for today? Uh, I'm nominated for Best Actor in a Festival Feature and Best Actress in a Short Film. So, which one, like, which role do you think you like the most? That's such a hard question. They're so different. One of them, the feature film, I play the daughter of a murderer, so it's like. My mom gets murdered in it too. It's very, it's a crime thriller. And then the other one, I play a daughter of a uh, very religious parents, and it's a, uh, it's about me learning, like, questioning my faith essentially, like what is sin, and uh, two very different stories, hard to compare. Like, <laughs> one's like a, a nice family drama, and one's you shouldn't bring your kids to. <laughs> Oh, I love it so far. This is great. I love the Thank atmosphere. You. There's so many people here. It's fun. And did you always know that you wanted to act? Um, no. I always wanted to perform, and then I finally realized when I was like five or six, I like realized there was an actual career other than just making my stuffed animals talk to each other. And so I decided. I, I watched Jaws. My dad actually showed me Jaws when I was really little which wasn't a good idea because I haven't gone in the ocean since. But I was like, oh my god, I want to act. I want to be Richard Dreyfus. So. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm here with... Luna Blaze. What are you nominated for? I'm nominated for recurring actress on a TV series. What's the TV series? Fresh Off the Boat on ABC. Um, it's about an Asian American family who moved to Orlando, Florida from Washington, D.C. And basically this little boy, Eddie Wong, he's just trying to live like the life of a normal kid. And in the first season, I was his love interest. But in the second season, a new girl comes into town. Now I'm his best friend. So, yeah. So, what do you think about the first ever young Eddie? 
What? Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's like so fun. I think it's very bright. It has a really good energy about it. Um, I've already had a lot of fun and it hasn't even started, so I'm really excited. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here with Isabella Alexander. So you're nominated for Fresh Off the Boat? I am, I am. What's the category? Um, re best recurring young actress, uh, 13 to 14, or 12 to 14, sorry. <laughs> and can you say it's your favorite role that you play? It definitely, definitely. I love it so much. AB, the Fresh Up the Vote family, they're very close to me. Yeah. We interviewed one of your co stars. Yes, Luna. Yeah, she's my best friend. Yes. Uh, what's it like being at the first ever Young Entertainment Award? It's an honor! The first one? This is awesome! I can be like, yeah, I was the first one. It's so cool. So, would you ever consider doing like, a different type of role, like drama or something? Yes, I love drama. I, I am doing comedy, but uh, drama is where I, I feel most comfortable. But I'm open to try anything. It just depends on what I get. it all. Every, everything's my favorite. I love it all. It's, I, oh, I love it so much. Thank you so much. Say, yes, thank you. I'm from Pop Entertainment and okay. I'm here with Connor Colopsis. So, what are you nominated for tonight? I'm nom nominated for Days of Our Lives and The Grinder. So, do you have a favorite role? Well, my favorite role was on The Grinder yeah, because I've, I've never really been a part of a whole show. So being able to film a whole season of a show is just great. What was it like being on Days of Our Lives? It was it was really fun because everyone was so welcoming there and everything, and it was it was it, they're all crazy storylines because they're, it's a soap opera and it's just really fun working on that show. And how do you like at the first ever Young Entertainment? I feel like it's great being here because. This is the first time uh, young actors uh, and actresses get a chance to get nominated and be recognized and get awards, you know? So I think it's really awesome. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.